Hello friends, Hal here. We are going to work on You Got a Friend Today. Now, I did a performance video and I did an intro video for this particular intro, but I'm going to teach the chords and the song all the way through. So stick with me here. We've got regular tuning, capo on the second fret. This is the, exactly the same key that James Taylor is playing this in. This is You Got a Friend by Carol King. Now, Carol King actually was the writer of this song. So what we do is, you'll notice that we normally do a G chord like this or like this, but what I do today is I'm going to be doing a G chord like this with my third and fourth finger. We have our uh, fingers on the third fret above the capo. And what we're going to do in a few, in a couple uh, minutes is we're going to actually be putting these fingers down into this position. This is called a C with the G bass. It's like a C chord, right? These fingers are in the, the position where we have a C chord. And then what we do is we put our third finger down to the E string, third fret, and our pinky, our fourth finger, on the third fret E string. So we get the low G note there. This one's muted. That's our C chord right there, and then we get the G on top like that. So there's our C with the G bass. G chord, C. I still have that fourth finger on the third fret E string, so I can pick up that G note on the top, and then I go to the D7 sus4. Right? This finger is just hanging out, it's not pushing down at all. And then I go back to the G chord and I do this hammer-on from the open strings with first and second finger on the uh, first fingers on the second string first fret, second fingers on the fourth string second fret. Those are open strings right there. I go to the F sharp minor bar chord and then to the B7 bar chord. Down E minor, regular open position E minor, and then a B7 chord like this. And trouble, and you need a E minor helping B7 and E minor. And then I go, you can either do the A minor, and nothing, or you can do the A minor 7 with this finger up. Oh, nothing, and you can do the D. Or you can do the D7. Nothing is going right. G. C with the G bass. Close your eyes and think of me. So that's F sharp minor. And think of me. B7 as a bar chord because it's super easy to go from here to here. And soon E minor I will be B7. It's super easy to go from E minor to B7 like this instead of popping into the bar chord. I will be there. A minor 7 to brighten up. B minor 7, which is a bar chord. Even your darkest night. D7 sus4. You just call my G chord. My name. What I do is, I'm back into this chord again, this G chord, um, because when I go to my D7 sus4, my fourth finger is still on that third fret. Call out my name. G major 7. This finger is on the second fret E string, and this one is still on the, let's see, I'm using my third finger there, third fret. And you know. I am C chord to A minor 7 D7 sus4 I'll come running oh yeah baby see you again D7 sus4 winter spring summer or fall G to G major 7 C oh hey now all you've got to do is E minor call I'll, now here I do a B there, 
C, C with the B bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A minor seven. D seven says for you got a friend. Minor, same thing as the first verse. E minor to B7 above you should turn dark. E minor to B7 and full of clouds. E minor and that old A minor or A minor 7. North wind. You know, I really like the A minor 7 better. And that old north wind. And I like the D7 there better. Should begin to blow. G, C with a G bass. Sharp minor together B7 and call E minor my name B7 out loud E minor and soon I will A minor 7 be knocking upon B minor 7 your door D7 says 4 you just call my name and you do the chorus all over again let's go right to the bridge. What I did was, hey, ain't it good to know? I used an F bar chord here. Right, we're using all six strings. Ain't it good to know that you've got a friend? C. When people can be so cold. G major seven. They'll hurt you. C major seven. This finger comes up. Right? And you have that open B string with the C chord. Here's a C chord. C major 7. Hurt you and desert you. Now I use this F major 7 because it's really nice and low. And I'm only plucking the E string and the D and the G and the B strings right there. And desert you. And that's what it looks like. They'll take your soul. E minor to A if you let them. Ah, but don't you let them. D7 sus4 to D7. This is the only time we do this in the whole song. So you have this. That's our sus4 right there. Goes back to second fret. So it goes. You just call my name. And then you're back into the chorus. So this is what we do. When you're down and troubled and you need a helping So what, let's go back and talk about this a little bit because um, what's happening here is that my I'm using my four fingers, my index, my middle, my ring, and my pinky on the D, G, B, and E strings and my thumb is on the E string and the A string. And pretty much I'm staying on those strings right there. See that? When you're down and trouble and you need a help 
right there when I have that four beat chord. One, two, three, four. That's what I'm doing. Thumb, this is my E minor chord. Thumb, index, or my, yeah, on, on the D string. So I'm doing a rock back and forth there. That's what I did right there on the E minor chord. Thumb, index, middle ring, back to index, and then ring, pinky, back to index, middle ring, back to index. So it goes like this. And nothing. It's really hard to explain these kinds of things, right? So that's thumb, index, middle ring, index, and then I pluck those two strings, the B string and the D string, hammer that, and back to G. So. That was my thumb, index, middle ring, and then I plucked everything and plucked, picked up that high E string there. Close your eyes and... Now this is a common thing that I do. Thumb, I pluck all these four strings. Thumb, thumb, index, middle ring, pinky, and index again. Together, think of me. <laughs> that one. I did that. And soon I will be there to brighten up. I just went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even your darkest night. Right there. Now, right on that uh, D7 sus4. got that pull off right there. Oops. I like to hit that high G note on that E string, third fret. It sounds really good. Won't you just call? really hard to, to explain that. If you watch this video over and over and you focus in on my right hand, you can see the variations that I do on that. Let's do that bridge kind of slowly for you. Ain't it good to know that you got a friend? See, when people can be so cold, they'll hurt you and desert you. Well, they'll take your Here's the chorus. And you know wherever I am, I'll come running. Oh yeah, babe, see you again. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Hey now, all you've got to do is call. Well, there you go, friends. 
you've got a friend. I don't know if I explained everything really well, but I hope that you can get something out of this. If you have any questions, then uh, message me here. Uh, the best thing to do, though, is to get me over at Patreon and ask me there. All right, I appreciate you being here. I uh, appreciate you being with me and going through this James Taylor song. I love this version. I think it sounds really good. It's a little easier than James Taylor's version, and uh, I was able to put it together a lot faster. All right, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for your support. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye. <laughs> From the earth, your language holds a key. Circling the squares and trees nowhere. Won't you let me see? Say